Hey guys, it's Lisa. Today I'm gonna do a video on cool girl style with a classic or a classy twist. So I took some items, some new, some I've had for a long time, and I styled some outfits in the cool girl style, which usually mixes a little bit of trendy with a little bit of classic. It will usually have your personality in there in some way, but I wanted to keep it to a classic, classy style for those of you that are just kind of branching out into cargo jeans or you're branching out into the low loose fitting jeans or the graphic t-shirts, things like that. I wanted to show you a way that is a little bit more conservative and a little bit classier, but you still have that cool girl vibe that I love so much. So the first outfit, I took these jeans, which are very, very on trend. I think cargo is still going strong for fall 2023. These I purchased from Revolve and they were not very expensive and I love how streamlined they are. They've got just enough edge and just enough pockets to be considered cargo, but I think that they still have a beautiful drape on the body. I think they're gonna give you a lot of options as far as your tops and your shoes. And I just really think these are a good pair to start with if you have not ventured into the cargo jeans. I really love the bottom hem, how it has just that little tab. So it gives you something interesting at the feet. And I paired these with a new pair of heels from Zara and they looked so good, so good. And then I did a nice crossbody bag, which always makes an outfit come together. It's a really good accessory to do a crossbody bag. It kind of gives you that on the go, effortless look. And then to make this a little bit classier, I took this jacket that I've had for a while from Mango. Mango and Zara are really good at these Chanel inspired tweed jackets. If you've been shopping along with me, you may already have some of those that we've purchased at Zara. This one is a few years old and I love it. It's one that I can wear as a top because I can button it all the way up. And just the two of these with the heels, remember that the pumps are back and I'm loving it. Pumps are back and I love the pointy toe. It just gives a beautiful vibe. It's really a good model off duty also. So this was a winning outfit and I really think that you would love these jeans. They're size 27, so I would say they run true to size. I usually size up in almost everything. The next outfit, for those of you that would like to try the lower rise baggy jeans, these have some good, good, good distressing, and I am gonna treasure these forever because these are Marissa Webb. If you've been here with me for any time, I don't know if you remember, I just got hung up on Marissa Webb. She is a designer that I have followed for years, probably at least 10 years, and I've got some of her pictures that have just inspired me for just the whole time. And so I saw these on sale, and I grabbed them for a great deal. And when I took them out of the box, I was like, please let these fit because I just wanted to have one piece of her fashion because it's pretty pricey. She was the creative director for Banana Republic for one season, but I believe she took them a little too far in the cool girl, casual chic, model off-duty direction. And people really missed that classic Banana Republic style. So I think she was just there one year, but I loved it. I got a bunch of stuff that year. So these I am super, super excited with you. And I'm hoping that there are some left for you guys. And I wanted to pair it with something kind of smart and casual. So I took this top and I'll be honest with you, this is a Zara top that I got this summer and it's more of a linen blend. This looked good and I like it and it's perfect for right now, perfect for summer. But what I think I would like even more is a denim, not just a denim top, even though denim on denim is on trend and it would look good, but I really did like the stripe. So I'm gonna get a nice poplin, maybe from Gap or somewhere like that, top because I wanted a little bit more structure out of this and a little bit more of that tailored look, but I do think that the look came together. I added a belt 
which I don't always do, but when I want to look more classic, more classy, I always add a belt. And then I paired it with my nude pumps, my Stuart Weitzman that I've had forever, my favorite. I've had two pair of them, but I will link everything down below. And if it's not available, because a lot of these things are older, I will link alternatives. And then I used my Birkin 35, which I don't use very often, but I love it. And I thought it completed the look. And with each outfit, pay attention to the the sunglasses that I'm wearing because sunglasses really contribute to your overall vibe and your overall look. That's really important to me. That's why I love all different styles and that's why I love all different jewelry. And to me, just adding like one necklace or one bracelet or the correct pair of sunglasses just brings it all together. It's right there with the belt. So these I just love. I love these so much. And then this top, I like the look, but I would prefer one with more structure. This next look is one of my go-tos. I know so many of you have grabbed these pants from Anthropology. I have them in this crew color, also in the black. They are a wonderful weight. They're not too heavy for this time of year, and they're gonna be great right through until the really cold season. I will be able to wear them all year just because I live in a warmer climate. So I wanted to take a graphic tee. This one I ordered from Revolve. It is a Johnny Cash, but I love that it's a different take on Johnny Cash. It's the Ring of Fire, and I love the pink and the burgundy. Burgundy's another tone that's going to be very popular this fall, and I just loved it. I also love chartreuse. I mean, this t-shirt is amazing. I haven't decided if I'm going to cut this one yet because I really felt like it had a good drape. You have to try the t-shirt on first. Depending on the cut, the length of the sleeves, just the whole fit of the tee helps me decide whether I want to cut it or not. And this one fit pretty well. So I tucked it in. I added my crossbody ivory bag. Instead of adding an edgy bag, I added more of a classy tone-on-tone -tone bag. And that's what we're going for here is that tone-on-tone. -tone. And then just for a little twist, I added my retro rag and bone sneakers that I got from the Nordstrom sale. These are very soft, like a conservative cool girl sneaker. They are just really pretty. Another tone on tone and the whole look just came together. I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was soft. It was trendy. It was classic. It was just a great outfit. The perfect outfit. I think you could wear it to work depending on where you work, but I think it's office appropriate. You could also change your shoes if you wanted to put a nice pair of cream colored ballet flats. I do have some new ones coming. I want to just keep on trying flats until I find the best ones. Or you could even add, you know, if you live in a climate like I do, like your chunky sandals would look good with this. So many things. And just the drape of both of these with the jewelry and the nice bag, nice sunglasses, all of it came together and I think looked very, very classy, elegant, but still trendy and model off duty. The next look I tried is actually with the t-shirt that I had on. I was thinking, okay, most people do love trousers, but I know a lot of you don't like trousers that have pleats. So I had these express trousers back in my closet from years ago. So this is more of your straight, no pleats, your more straight leg with a slight flare trouser. So I took these, took this t-shirt before I cut it, tucked it in. I used some sling back pumps, but when I was trying it on, I think you'll be better off with a regular pump so it doesn't catch the back of the pants. But I just love those sling backs I have. And so I try to wear them every time I can. I added some good jewelry, just the right sunglasses, a classic black Chanel bag, and I felt like the look was amazing. Now, I prefer wide leg, blousier, flowier pants, but that is a personal preference. So whenever I talk about the pleated wide leg trouser, keep in mind that you can adjust that to some flat front, some straight, just any type of trouser, because what it is is the mix of the nice fabric with the trouser and the t-shirt. This is actually an Anina Bing t-shirt that I have wanted for so long. 
I love the wings. I love the colors. I mean, I just love this t-shirt so much. Tiny dancer. <laughs> but when I watched the footage back, this was yesterday, I didn't care for how it fit. I felt like the sleeves came down a little too long on me. So what I did is I cut it. I cut this much off of the sleeves and then I cut this much off of the bottom. So you can see, I can still tuck it in, but I can wear it out. And it's gonna have a little bit of an unfinished hem to match my sleeves. I did use my AYR Super Cool Tee as a guide, like I always do. So this is the same tee. And today I have it mixed with my Gap Flare khakis. I wanted to give it another classic, kind of a preppy spin. I added my Hermes belt my Gucci sandals, and this Jenny Bird necklace. And I think it is a beautiful, classic, preppy, go-to look. So you can adjust these looks to fit your exact taste or your destination, wherever you're gonna be. So don't think that you can't wear really cool, graphic tees with your very conservative wardrobe. A good look would just be throwing on a blazer with this, but I'll stop here, I just love it. This next look, I wanted to do something a bit more run around on Saturday, but still looking classic and chic and trendy. So I took this blazer, which is a Smith blazer that I ordered from Revolve. Now it is black, but it's pinstriped. I have a navy blue pinstriped. I've got a black, but I didn't have a black pinstriped. You will notice this year that even in the oversized blazers, they're having a little bit more shape, a little bit more of an hourglass shape. So they're not so oversized and they're not so far out of your comfort zone, but shoulder pads and structure are always gonna be good for our age. It's natural when we age, our shoulders slump over. I am the worst. Not only do I do that, then I tuck my butt in and my stomach out. I'm just the worst at that. So I love a good structured blazer. There's just nothing like it. Now you'll have to help me with this one. I ordered the small and it fits well, but would I rather have the medium? Because this was kind of pricey. So let me know down below if you think this looks oversized and cool enough, or do you think I should order the medium? So I paired it with these pants. I saw these on the Airy website. And you guys, I have noticed when I look for the flared legging or a flared yoga pants, they're always so short. They're even too short on the models. But when I ordered these, I thought, okay, well, I'm 5'6", but I'm more torso than legs. So I thought these will fit perfectly. They're still too short for me. I went ahead and you know took the photos and the footage because I wanted to show you how well these fit. And if you're petite, they're gonna be amazing. But for me, these are just a little bit too short, but I did not let that stop me. I went ahead and took just a really classic white tank top. I just got this in from Calvin Klein. One morning I clicked on Carolyn Bissett Kennedy, a whole documentary on her style journey. Oh, it was so good. And it got me on the Calvin Klein website because she worked for Calvin Klein and a lot of her fashion was from Calvin Klein. So I ended up ordering this tank top with a few other things that you'll be seeing in some upcoming videos. And then I added the ultimate cool girl sneakers of the past few years, and that is the Adidas Samba. Those shoes are so comfortable. Now, I wouldn't wear those walking, but I would wear those for your everyday. They're so soft. They're the kind of sneaker you could almost wear around the house, and they do give a big impact, and it is immediate that girl's got style. Very similar to Golden Goose. When you spot someone with these sneakers or Golden Goose, you know that they know what's in style. So I love those. And then, Oh my gosh, the hat. I've already taken it upstairs and put it on my hat shelf. Many of you talked about the Ralph Lauren hats. So I grabbed one. I believe I got that from Revolve too. And I like it, but it doesn't fit my head quite as nice as the other ones that I've been getting from Amazon and Anthropology. But I do like it. And I do think it is a very conservative, classy baseball cap. I love it. You guys give me the best inspiration. So tell me down below 
below which outfit was your favorite. Tell me anything that you would like me to style. Like if you would like me to take one piece of clothing and style it in several different ways, or if you would want me to do some other styles, let me know down below. I have so much fun with this. It's like baking for someone that likes to cook. I just love like putting the different textures and looks together. It reminds me of when I used to sew and make handbags. That was one of my favorite things. I would get so excited the night before I could barely sleep thinking about the next day. Like after I went to the fabric store and I would get all that fun trim and everything. It's all in the details. So thank you so much for being here. And here, I'll go through my accessories today. This is an upcoming ring that I will be showing you soon. This is a... Jenny Bird chain. I love with a classic look to just wear a big pair of studs. This is the Dean Davidson large signature knockout studs and my Rolex watch and two Jenny Bird bracelets. So thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.